Okay, how does this work again? I have to make it clear with both analog sticks. <laughs> okay, now. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together.
northwest to Prescott's Pan Estates Heaven, Haven or Hell by Craig Kennedy. The name Prescott may not mean much to you or to those outside the edges of a small coastal Oregon town, but this is a name that means quite a bit in Acadia Bay, a quaint town seemingly stuck in time. Once home to a prosperous fishing and tourism industry, the town has seen much better pay days despite the local success of the prestigious Blackwell Academy and its football and swimming teams, the Bigfoots and the Otters. Environmental changes to the area have reduced the amount of fish and other sea life, resulting in a stagnant economy and limited tourism. Oddly, the Prescoffs m have managed to keep their business interests quite profitable. In fact, they are behind an expensive, exclusive housing development known as Pan Estates to be built into the deep forest near Blackwell Academy. Local Native American groups have already filed various motions against the, the development, citing widespread destruction of tribal lands and natural resources. Heaven or Hell? Quite interesting. Maybe we will can, um, can visit to this here. Why can I sit again? Then we'll she will tell us more. Welcome back to the real world, Max. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. Okay, not really. Just repeat it. Okay, we are supposed to look at the board, but... I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. I'm not really sure if you can count it twice. Yeah, that situation with um, Chloe dying and bound to a wheelchair where she can only move her mouth. I should have known just erasing that phone message wouldn't stop the police. Yeah, I did erase a message to no <laughs> fruit. It doesn't, didn't help at all. Miss Price, this is Officer Anderson Barry and since we have your contact info on file here, We'd like you to come by the station on Monday morning at approximately 8 a.m. to answer a few questions about any information you may have regarding a recent break-in at Blackwell Academy and the fact that your car was identified in the parking lot around the same time. We look forward to clearing this up, Officer Barry, AP, Acadia Bay Police Department, um, of course. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? Oh, that's a really nice photo. Okay, we can't leave the room, just... Still we have the snow dough. That snow dough always makes me think of William and Chloe. I still feel sketchy about giving Chloe the gun back. Ah, oh, this is another difference I have in, I have in my two playthroughs. And now she has the gun. Just wanna check out this corner. That's my Chloe. The bad girl's guide to guns. Alright. Okay, time to look at the board. So, okay, that's stuff about Rachel. And so close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm going to cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. 
He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I'm on it, partner, Chloe. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. What's this here in the papers here? Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. Okay. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. Lots of coffee. Yes, Chloe Price was here. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. <laughs> it looks really cool with the blue hair and the t tattoos. It kind of makes up for a nice image. Those colors go well with Chloe. Okay then, so, um, we just leave. Oh no, that poor little bird has been trapped in here. Oh man, again this bird shit here? What? Okay, where's this bird? Here? The bathroom or what? Yeah, okay. Scare? Usually, yeah. Why should I take a look at oh, you? That blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. Yeah, replace the medicine. Last time I wanted to splash some water on my face, my whole life changed. Okay, there's no use to scare off the bird right now. I guess I have to open some window before that. And this is what I'm going to do. I am not sure what this will make if I save the birds in each episode. But it's not a big of a deal to do it and I just I'll just do it. The picture, why take a look again? This might be the last poster advertising Arcadia Bay after tomorrow night. Really? So from the title um, I, I haven't really seen the trailer only I think in this episode we will attend um it's such a warm, beautiful day. How could a killer storm just pop up tomorrow? Yeah, the... what's called the end of the world party will take place, or not? Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. Okay, the window is open, then we better just now scare off the bird. Come on, birdie. Fly outside. Eh? It's still here. Okay. Go, go, go. Fly. Be free. Okay. And now it can stay outside. So, well, there's one thing. I don't have any friends or rel relatives or so in that, that kind of situation which Chloe faced on an almost... Yeah, what, what should you call it? It's almost nothing much left in life and having suicide thoughts. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. <laughs> this, is, this should be another difference, huh? I guess when I play a second time, he will be still a, a, a part of the family. Okay, I am supposed to go to the garage. And... Yeah, I always wonder where this starts. Ouch, one the wounded, the B minus it burns. I wish I could have helped you. Ah, this is about his exam, yeah. Um. Okay, in this case, my folks will shit. 
Yo, yo, Max, your friend Chloe texted me that I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get why. Chloe actually texted you? I sure I didn't have her number, at least I still get to go ape with you, unless you want to chill with Chloe, or we could all go. One pain in the ass is enough? Cool. I have to jet. Talk to you later. What are all these new messages from Dad? Um, okay. Hey honey, I just got a weird text warning me that my nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. Is this some kind of school prank? That's from Nathan. It's from a blocked number. I'm sorry, some jackass in my class thought it would be funny to send. It's not. I don't like strangers having my number, okay? Me neither. Sorry. I'm just being a dad. I know this has been a tough week for you. It's almost over. I call you guys later. Oh, this is about the plant. Maxine, what the heck is going on with the weather up here? Are they doing military tests or something? You're right in, in the eye of a storm. Yes, I even killed my plant, Deezer. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. Get another. <laughs> One plant was stressful enough. Now back to the books. Talk soon. Show ma show. And Kate. Okay. So where's this new stuff about, about Kate? Um... Max, thank you from, from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at school. The only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessing, your friend Kate. Hey Kate, I'm glad you're okay. I will visit you as soon as I can, promise. Max, how are you? I hope you can still visit me this week. I have some important things to talk about. Oh, come on, this sounds interesting. Of course, I'm still coming to visit you. You can't stop me. I miss you and my bunny. We all miss you and your bunny misses you. Yeah, you're such a great friend. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you. Yeah, Kate is alive. And we we can get to visit her? Justin? What is this here from the ninth? Hey Justin, you busy? Max Wax, I am busy blazing wood up. Do you know Frank Bowers? Drugs? That's it? Asked Nathan, he knows uh, him, I think. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks, Justin. For what? Yeah, for nothing. So, go back to the first message of the 9th October. Hey Juliet, are you busy? No time to be busy. You never text me what's going on down. Besides everything, I was just curious if you ever heard of a guy named Frank who lives in an RV around down town. You mean a van down by the river? I heard he's a sketchy meth head. That's about it. Why, are you doing your own investigation without my help? <laughs> nope, just bored. Talk soon, thanks. Okay, but you can't keep secrets from Ace Reporter, reporter Juliet Watson. Hello? Oh yeah. Okay, where's the ninth? Um, Chloe, I'm sorry I get in your a face today and took out my bullshit rage on my best friend. Chloe, I understand you're going through a lot. We are all are. Besides, I threw your beanie out the window and busted out my rewind. Okay, that is your one get out of emoji jail free card. But we need to stock up on six coffee and candy for an all-nighter. We have to get into Rachel and Kate detective mode. Excellent, dear Watson. I'll bring my thinking cap. No worries, I have a beanie. I'll swing by and pick you up. Sweet, I'll be ready. Cho cho, and that was no emoji. Emoji, okay. Okay, this was all the stuff. Lots of new stuff in those short messages. Now we are back here. David isn't any different from me when he's looking at those family photos. Yeah, we know those photos. And David Madsen was just looking at them. Oh man, you can really feel sorry for him. <laughs> those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Okay. Well, well it's interesting to note that these beach whales are... Just the same and both in the normal and alternative timeline. Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. Yeah. The road to Paris. Ouch. David, do not be here when I get back from work. I mean it. 
show. Yeah, yeah. What I was uh, talking about, Chloe's uh, state and the alternative version that um, I can only relate to some part to it because um, well. My butterfly sketch doesn't exist in this timeline. Like William. Well, there's one thing. Max the time bandit strikes again. Yeah, there's one thing I did work for about a year in a hospital. That's what everyone has to do when after sc after school for about one year social work. And I chose to work in a hospital and I, I came in contact with a lot of patients. Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max? And I was around 20 or so. And coming in contact with so much people and, have, and some of them having conditions or hopeless um, hopeless lies really broadened my perspective on life, yeah. To think this all started with my vision of a tornado. Echo Apocalypse Now, Acadia Bay Beacon. While Acadia Bay was until now considered a quaint fishing and tourist nuke on the or Oregon coast, the time that ta uh, the town that time forgot is since the beginning of this week in the literal eye of an environmental storm, starting with a freak snowfall, an unprecedented eclipse, dying birds and now a half dozen beach whales, Arcadia's Bay's strange weather is being studied by prominent state and natural scientists, apparently including NASA. And ASA. What's even more incredible than these echo phenomena is the fact that not a single meteorologist has offered any actual theory or even reason for this atmospheric havoc. Okay, always say continue on the next. Hey man, how much optional stuff we can uh, you can do in this game? What's this here? William never finished painting that wall. Okay. Wasn't there in the first episode ending that uh, David Madsen wanted to was painting the house or not? Maybe we can sit again on this uh, what's called no. Okay. What's this here? A bee? Okay. So they took this huge board up into the room and we could only take a look at the... Well, funny though. Only take a look at this wall here. Then let's just proceed with the garage. Huh? What's this photo? Guys. This photo. Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max? Oh man, don't take it too much on yourself. I mean, Maxine is not responsible for every kind of bullshit that happens. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Hmm. Detective mode. We are again in detective mode, okay. And we start with a note. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Mr. Madsen, thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Best, Sean Prescott. Okay. It's gun wreck. Either Chloe stole another gun or. David is out there armed. Oh. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff too. What's this here? Cardboard box. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Just after I'm finishing this episode, I will just play it a second time, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's how I can remember my decisions on the small, the major one and the smaller ones, and just take the other one. There's more to David Manson than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. 
Oh, he tried to leave a letter. Joyce, you know I'm not a I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overstep bounds with the surveillance and suspicion and I'm truly sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things happening in Acadia Bay I have never told you. You are my wife and partner and I know we should have no secrets. I intended to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof. Instead, a student almost committed suicide on my watch. You kicked me out of my favorite home and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me... And this is where he, he stopped. Yeah, man, I don't wish him so much ill, but um, he should have spoken out. But then, if he had spoken out, it wouldn't be so mysterious what he's up to. There's more to David ah, Manson than fuck, it's just guy. a letter ball. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Okay. So what is there else for us to email? Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. Raymond Wells to David Madsen. Despite our rather heated discussion about a successful peti petition to block a campus surveillance system, I am still interested in your feedback on other methods of improving Blackwell security. We must, we must find a middle ground between safety and privacy for our students. Best Principal Wells. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. From Michelle Grant. I didn't need a surveillance camera to see the suspension coming. Best of luck to you, Mrs. Grant. At least he has one weird fan. From Anomius. Dear Mr. Madsen, I just wanted to let you know I think it's bullshit what happened to you in his, this school. Has too many liptard metrosexuals who don't appreciate you or the military. I felt safe in my dorm when you were in charge and I thought about you protecting me. I hope you will come back to Blackwell and make you make sure we are all safe at night. I am scared of the school. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. From David Madsen to Raymond Wells, okay, to the principal. I apologize for my outburst yesterday in your office. I was upset about losing my position at Blackwell without a complete investigation of the facts and based solely on the claims of untrustworthy students. There is a cancer at Blackwell Academy, and without me, it will continue to spread. Sincerely, Madsen D. That's all about the emails, and but we have a map. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Whoa, 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 it's a pretty huge area, pretty huge building, confidential. We have all the points for the security cameras. This might be come in handy if there's something about the pan estates for us to uncover.